Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanolids at Dawn. I am your host, Shadow Fury 333, bringing you the usual exhibition match set. So, starting out, we're going to have Flipstep and Guy up on Badlands. And, and that will that'll be Badlands. Badlands is one of those maps that we'll see how it goes. Although, you have Shields and Spiderbots, so both players definitely playing the map. At, well, okay, I should say Guy up playing more the way I'd expect nowadays. Shields is kind of the new meta for this map. Flipstep? Hmm. With Flipstep, I'm not so sure because shields were the meta, but I want to see how Flipstep plays this because I'm curious to see how you play shields now in the current meta. I feel like shields just doesn't really work as well as spiders has. Like, spiders works really well in this map, like, surprisingly well on this map, so I'm sure Gaiab's going to have a pretty easy time just dealing loads of damage to Flipstep here. Flipstep, what, is they, what are they going to do? At this point, it's pure aggression. Pure aggression. There are, are no builders actually at this point. Guy up does have their weaver out, but no bandits out. No, sorry, no convicts out for Flipstep. Just pure bandit and one dirtbag to scout out. But really, pure bandit. That's it. That's the entire army. That right there. That's the army. Bandit. Nothing but bandit. So clearly, that's the strategy. Is Flipstep just wants to push Guy up as hard as possible before Guy up's able to get enough units. Because one Venom is not going to do enough. And even two Venoms against all these bandits coming in here. It's... It'll hurt, but it's not going to be anywhere near enough to deal with the bandits with five bandits coming in all at once. And the Dirtbag is well able to deal with this stuff. So, I... So I'm not really sure how to deal with this. I don't know. I don't know if we really could without using redbacks. Like, really, guy up with venoms. I can see what the motivation there was, but honestly, redback. Like, that's what it's for. Or upgrade your commander to have the redback weapon. Either way, and indeed, a redback is being built up. So flipstep. They've got a few seconds. They've got 20 seconds to deal damage still. But it looks like they're far more focused on making sure that they aren't going to die. Now, granted, having done that, they do have plenty of room to build up their economy. So. Ultimately, a win. Not as clear of a win as one may like, but it's still an ultimately clear win. So I'd say, good job. So yeah, Flipstep and Gaiop. Continuing to fight for their... Actually, Gaiop getting a bit of reclaim. Taking back their Venoms. Not a complete waste. It did die in their territory. But even then, Flipstep, they're really going hard with this stuff. So Flipstep right now... The thing is, are they going to survive the Redback Retaliation? And given that they're building up defenses and such... That's actually, that's not the question. The question is, how are they going to work once their bandits are no longer really viable? Like, their bandits are going to be pushed out. Not really going to be harassing much of them. So, at this point, Gaio kind of has more free reign to just mess around on the map. I'm really curious how that's going to work out. Because if Gaia does work that out, make it all work well, I mean... At that point... Flipstep is going to have to deal with the fact that they basically don't have a whole lot they're working with. Which, yeah, I know it sounds weird, but yeah, they honestly have pressure from the past. And if Gaiop realizes there isn't much other than bandits and a few rogues, Gaiop might just start expanding nakedly across the map and then it won't matter. That's the big question here. Like, is Gaiop going to just start expanding rapidly, knowing that there's nothing over to the northwest or southeast, or very little to the southeast, and then from there, just get back the economy. Because Gaia didn't take that much damage. They didn't lose any major infrastructure. They lost one metal extractor, took a bit of pressure. Their commander is going to be under some attack, but four bandits against... Ooh, an upgraded engineer commander. This actually might work out okay. And indeed... Wow, this is... That's a dead commander. Unless something comes in to save it, and the redback is coming in to try to save this commander. But the commander is about to go... It's down! Wasn't sure if that was going to happen, but indeed it is down, and Guy up now down an easy expansion source, does have some reclaim to work with, but that was massive. I'd... Now we learn, four bandits do get rid of an unupgraded engineer commander, although Guy up is not the only one of the commander in a bad position. Flips up right now, these redbacks could come over the hill and wipe out the commander as well. Okay, actually, harder time. Nowhere near as easy. With the defenders and rogues in place, that's not going to work out so well. So yeah, Flips up. There's some raiding. The bandits really worked out there. And Orphelia is pointing out Flipstep did lose a constructor early on, and that 
is a good point. Not entirely sure where, but yeah, if that happened, then that is a big deal. So it's more evening it out. Oh, guy up lost. Oh, right. Yeah, that makes more sense. Thinking it wanted flip to lose a, lose a constructor. Yes, guy up, of course. But anyway, the point is, guy up now losing a constructor and a commander. Flip step is now in a very commanding lead. I don't see any easy way out of this. Guy up is trying to expand, not really nakedly, but definitely trying to expand over to the northwest side, and that's that's all they can really do. They kind of have to. I mean, they should be expanding in their own base as well, but. Really, all they can easily do is expand over to an easily defended area like the northwest side of the map, or north southeast side of the map. A place with nice hills and rather mountains, well, mountain ridges in the way. Use that as their approach tool. And Flipsip's commander under heavy attack as well, and I think it will go down, so at least... No, whoa, that red pack? Oh, ah, just barely. I wasn't quite sure, but indeed, that does go down. Flipsip losing their commander as well, so both players without a commander... But Flips have been in a much better position to set up. They have essentially a builder alongside a bunch of military units. So while the commander is dead, their ability to expand with a set of units or ability to expand while being able to defend their expansion, that remains intact. And for that matter, Guy up losing the northwest corner. I think this might actually prompt Guy up to throw the game if they lose that worker. And they most certainly will. There's no way out of this. That worker is dead. So upon losing that weaver... They really only have the one here, and that's busy reclaiming. So I don't know what we can really expect to see from this, but I don't think it'll be anything pretty. At any rate, Flipstip is... <sighs> Flipstip is dominating this map. There's not much more to say about that. Flipstip just has the entire map, and Gaiop... Man, do they have anything? I mean, with their economic disadvantage right now, they really don't. I'm a bit surprised they aren't going for Hermits, though. Just to tank out the robes and at least have something to get through. Or, I mean, a bunch of fleas might work. Uh, a bunch of fleas would be too risky. Problem, that's the problem with Spider Factory, or the tough part about Spider Factory, is they don't have a huge amount of really strong anti-skirmisher units. And especially when you're dealing with an economic difference of this magnitude, getting back is almost impossible. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of that. Other than don't let your workers die. So yeah, with this, Flipstep should be able to just deal with the rest of Gaia's forces, and that will probably That'll probably call the match. I think Gaia is now just delaying the GG for just wanting to chat about stuff. And hey, your little chat was put on stream, and it is public, and people will see it. At any rate, I guess I might as well comment on that. Yeah, key bindings have been changing a lot because, I mean, there was a big conference that Lico put this game to, and there was a lot of feedback, and there's been a lot of development work in response to that feedback. And part of that is, of course, making the keybinds a bit more typical for RTS, which has been a long, contentious issue. But then there's also hotkey commands for factories, which has also been a long contentious issue. And yeah, there's a lot of contentious issues that are being settled. And so it's one of those things that just, it's becoming a thing. So yeah, anyway, that was that. So Flipstep basically taking the early lead. And from there, yeah, that was it. Kill early worker, kill early con commander, done. So that's that. Next match will be... Hopefully a bit less well outsided. 400 and Snuggle Base on Vitra. So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes.